Welcome to the NX4 by Obsidian Control Systems. Let's first talk about some of the features and specs of this console before we dive into programming. The NX4 features 64 universes of DMX output. Four of those universes are available via the direct DMX ports on the back panel, as well as all 64 available over Artnet or SACN. On the back panel, we also see we can add displays, such as this touchscreen. We can add two additional displays, both being touchscreens if desired, as well as utilize the built-in high-definition touchscreen into this console. Each console also comes with a Capture Duet license on the NX4. You're able to use this license with the PC and be able to pre-visualize two universes of DMX with the purchase of the console. The last thing on the back panel that we'll note is that we have MIDI and timecode support through ports available on the back panel. Now let's look at the surface. As I mentioned before, the high definition screen is available in the center of the console and it's tiltable so that whether you're sitting down, standing up, or anywhere in between, you can set the, the exact angle that you need. But it's not flimsy. As you can see, I set it into position, I'm able to press on it as needed, it's not moving around. On the side of the screen are four encoders, which I can use to control different parameters of the lights. We'll get to those in a minute. As we move across the surface, we see first our two desk lamps, which are fully RGB controllable. Then we have our 12 sub playbacks on faders. 12 more sub playback buttons, 10 motorized main playback faders with LCD labels, and then also 10 main playback buttons. These are both changeable via banks, and they're also swappable back and forth. As we move across the console, we see that we also have a main cue list in Grandmaster, and We've got a set of function keys in the middle, across the top, which are customizable for different views, settings, and quick actions. And then we've got our programming section, featuring our keypad, which you may be used to from other consoles, our programming keys, and then we also have our LCD here. If I select something, I now have access to my, all my parameters on this LCD, as well as various graphical ways to work with those parameters, such as the pan tilt. Last, we have our encoder wheels. As I mentioned, there's four on the screen which have permanent assignments. You set those assignments to what you want and they never change. You've got the four across the top that correspond to what's on the small LCD screen, as well as on the display in the bottom right corner, and a dedicated intensity wheel. Then on the right, there are some arrow keys and also a trackball. This is the NX4. Through these videos, you're going to learn how to use this great combination of hardware and software to make great lighting for your NX show. Now, let's dive in and begin programming from a blank slate here on the NX4.